Uh, good afternoon. I am Seba Shamsi, a fourth year PharmD student, and I will be presenting on revolutionizing diabetes care with artificial intelligence, its opportunities and challenges. The increasing prevalence of diabetes has become a global health concern in the 21st century, which is catalyzed by the nutrient poor, calorie rich, and increasing in a sedentary lifestyle. So, what are the key challenges faced for the diabetes care? Over 400 million people have diabetes, and at, le at least 46% of them remain undiagnosed and untreated. In fact, 12% of the world's health expenditure is spent on the various research analysis which is conducted for the diabetes today. Next is the patient management, which requires the complexity between the nephrologists, ophthalmologists, diabetologists, even nutritionists, which creates a strain on the resources. Next is the patient involvement that necessitates active participation from the patients for, for routine follow-ups, nutrition, and etc. Next is uh, artificial intelligence and its subsets like the machine learning and the deep learning have found to be revolutionizing diabetes care as they collect the real-time data which aids in the diagnosis and the treatment. In simple language, AI can be said as lever leveraging the computers to mimic the, human, uh, mimic the human mind for their problem-solving and decision-making capabilities. So what was the rationale of implementing, that is real-time monitoring, continuous glucose monitors are available which measures your glucose day, uh, night and daytime. Next is lifestyle and behavioral support. As we'll see for the enhanced diagnostic tools, early detection means early intervention, which could lead to the better patient outcomes. Next is consistency. Based on the clinical opinions, doctor's opinions can vary, but since the AI algorithm is teach on the same principle, it will always give the same output. Next, it is very important that these AI models are used to support the doctors and not to replace them. Integration with the electronic health records. Handling large population becomes very tedious, so AI can pop out the important cases which needs to be seen first. Reaching the undeserved population. And uh, as, the, as the AI algorithm gets more data, it gets, becomes more better with the time. Based on the literature that is being published, AI is said to revolutionize in these particular areas, of, of which we will be focusing on the public health interventions, where certain tools are developed for the diagnosis of the uh, complications. Diabetic retinopathy is said to be the most positive outcome for which the artificial intelligence is being used. As the prevalence of diabetes continues to grow, th grow the global DR patient population is, ex is expected to expand 160 million by 2045. A review. Literature. Literature so the methodology. Uh, it is a review, ma'am, of the, all the uh, AI oh, systems. But have you this is all we know. Only you thing. Have you analyze any data uh, in the this, world? This is a paper. This is a literature. A literature uh, review. So what do you want? What message but you want? But that is not been included in a paper presentation. This is a research-based uh, session okay. in which some conclusion or something you can clinch. From your yeah, I have actually compared with it. Have you any patient of AI, like something like if five patients you have applied your AI interpretation, that we want to know. Yeah, no, actually I am a fourth year family student, so we are uh, allowed patients, to... Patients, data collected. No. What message you want to give? I want to suggest the various AI algorithm which is available, which can be used in the patients. That we know, that we know. So, uh, this has been disqualified, I think so. What but can, What you can do? Just in the summary slide. Summary slide. Okay. And next time you apply all this uh, literature in some patient and come with uh, some results and how you are being benefited from this. Ah. Ah. This is. I have said the introduction. I was lost. Literature scan also. Did you find something? Extra? Yeah, this. Uh, uh, which is not available the time, in the literature. Save the time. Save the time. Only last slide you can show. Suppose yeah. out of these all literature scan you found out. Anything new from your side you want to say? Yeah, uh, these are various models. What and model level is fine? Yeah. Any new thing you want to say? Uh, I just want to focus on the deep DR plus model. Can you show that? Yeah, okay.
Yeah, okay. So this is a very recent model in 2024 which came in, that is Deep DR Plus model. And it not only diagnoses diabetic retinopathy, but it also shows the progression. That is actual progression took one year and the AI predicted 0.92 years. It is a very recent model. Right now, whatever models are available, they only say if it is referable DR or non-referable DR. But this very recent model says the actual progression and even, the, even it predicts. Next is, these are the various models that I have compared, of which the Deep DR Plus and IDX, IR, uh, IDX DR and IART are FDA approved. Next is very recent, that is Remdio received CDSC approval for its Medios DR AI on 13 September 2024, which is quite recent. And this approval comes after the same solution received CE marking under the EU, uh, EU MDR guidelines and HC approval in Singapore in 2022. These are various challenges and limitations and what are the future directions. 